I made a lot of videos, but one video that I've never made is how does it work in a dry cleaner? What is dry cleaning? What is laundry? What is soap? What is perk? There's a lot of things to know in a dry cleaner. So I decided to make a quick video of my reality as I am the owner of a few dry cleaners. I wanted to show you exactly how does it work in a dry cleaner? What are we doing here? And why would people go to a dry cleaner instead of cleaning their clothes themselves? So since I'm alone and I can't really have anyone film me, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm a customer in the beginning and then I'm gonna show you the process of how dry cleaning works. Let's go. So the customer comes in and brings in their clothes and they drop them on the table one by one. Our mission here is to pinpoint if there's any stains. We ask the customers if there's any stains that they want us to really focus on or if it's just for, you know, freshen up the clothes. So here we got two cardigans and a sweater. And so we go into our system, we ask them for their phone number and we make a bill. Once we have the bill, we have to assign a number to each of these clothes so we don't lose them. How do we do that? Like this. So as you can see, there's numbers. It's a number three because there's three items and we keep the big one right here on our bill so like that we can match it with the clothes. It might be confusing, but I'll explain later. Now that we have the numbers, it's time for tagging. Tagging means putting the tag on the clothes, making sure not to damage the clothes, so we use little pins. While we tag, we make sure that we check all the pockets to make sure that the customer didn't forget anything and also not to damage our machines. And we also check for stains. And if there's stains, we put little stain stickers in order for us to pay attention to these stains. If we find anything in the pockets, we make sure to put it aside for the customer to come back. And believe me, we find all kinds of stuff. Now that the clothes are tagged, we bring our clothes to the back and we separate the washable to the dry cleans. The best way for you and for us to verify if your garment is to be dry cleaned or to be washed is the label. You can check these little signs if you know what they mean. If not, it's written right here. Do not wash, do not bleach, and iron low. Why? Because it is wool. There's 30% of wool and therefore you can't put this in a wash. If you do, it shrinks and therefore it has to be dry cleaned. This is our dry cleaning machine. The dry cleaning process takes a little bit of time, but when the clothes come out of there, they come out with popping colors and the stains and oil are all gone. Before we move on, what is dry cleaning exactly? Dry cleaning is very similar to laundry, but it's a liquid solvent that doesn't have water nor soap. And this is why we call it dry cleaning because there's no water in it. It's actually a solvent going through your clothes. Now this solvent is called perk. There's a lot of dry cleaners that are still using perk, but the problem with perk is that it's not very good for the environment. And this is why we decided to switch our business and we're slowly getting to 100% eco-friendly dry cleaning. And it's now called wet cleaning because it, there's a little bit of water with some soap solvents that help us give the same result as dry cleaning. It's a little bit more costly for the dry cleaner and this is why a lot of dry cleaners have brought their prices a little bit up so they sustain their expenses and the machines, initial machines start at $60,000. Now, when it comes to laundry, it's exactly the same laundry that you have at home, but we have better products and we have little guns of steam that help us if ever there's a stubborn stain somewhere. Also, we don't have to do a few batches at a time because we have an industrial machine that allows us to put 60 pounds at a time. And that not only saves us time, electricity and money, it's also great because the machine is really fast, but you can find these only in industrial places or in dry cleaner. And because there's no water, this is why people have to dry clean their wool items and their silk items because with water, it actually shrinks, especially during the drying phase. Now there's no drying when it comes to dry cleaning. It spins and removes all the solvent through the cracks of the barrel 
and then it comes out dry and so all we have to do is press it and the clothes are ready cycle is done we hang the clothes right here like so the presser takes the clothes and he presses them on his little presser. Pressing is really a steam game. This is a steam horseshoe as well as steam coming out when you press the pedal. So it helps us press the material so like that there's no little creases or lines on it. And here you can find our steam gun. There's steam coming out of here. I'm gonna put a little footage. Whoa, whoa, let's get back to the video, Spielberg. And it helps us take care of the stubborn stains and use different products in order for us to remove the stain before or after dry cleaning the piece. Once the pressing is done, it's time for organization. And we look at every single garment to make sure that there's no creases, no stains on them. And we match the number that's on each garment with the bill, just like we showed you in the beginning. The last step is called bagging. We look at every single garment and make sure that there's no crease, no stains again, and that the numbers match because the nightmare in a dry cleaner is that someone else's clothes end up in someone else's order. So we make sure that the numbers match and then we look at every single buttons to make sure they're not popped. If they are, we replace it for free and then we bag the clothes. We made sure that the clothes are perfectly ready for the customer to pick up and we put it in what we call a conveyor. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the whole procedure on how things get cleaned in a dry cleaner. I'm gonna add a bunch of footage that I already took from my presser and how we press shirts with our shirt machine as well so you can see how it looks like. It's really hot in a dry cleaner. That's all you have to know because we have a lot of steam. If it's 30 degrees Celsius outside, it's about 40 degrees. There's always about 10 degrees extra in here. This is why we have amazing skin and we're always fit because we're on our feet and we're making sure that every single piece, every article that comes here is cleaned, pressed and verified. And we give the utmost best customer service because that's the most important thing in business. Many of our customers are our friends. They come regularly, they come once, twice a week. And this is the relationship that we wanna keep with them. And on the next video, I'm gonna tell you how much does a dry cleaner could actually make. A dry cleaner with machines, a dry cleaner without machines. What is the difference between them? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that has to do with business, not only with dry cleaning, but all kinds of business. And smash the like button if you enjoyed or learned anything in here. If you have any questions, please comment below. Until next time, guys, ciao.